A disturbing case in Baltimore County. A man is under arrest tonight, charged with rape after police say he created fake job postings online to lure in his victims. Police say this happened more than once. WJC's Live, Kelsey Kushner, spoke with investigators who say they believe more victims could be out there. Kelsey. Well, Vic, according to charging documents, William McNeil Jr. says that he has been operating this scam since January. Police say that he would use a fake online job opportunity to lure the victim into his home, then sexually assaulted him. 26 year old William McNeil Jr. is behind bars and facing multiple charges after Baltimore County police say he used a job scam to sexually assault a man in his apartment. It's just disgusting. I can't believe that a person would even do that. A neighbor shared this video with WJZ, capturing the moment they say police moved in to arrest McNeil in his Middle River home on Tuesday. Investigators say the suspect told them he met the victim online earlier this month. According to charging documents, the two both worked at Amazon, but the victim had never seen him before. Police say McNeil approached the victim at work about a fake government job. We have a suspect who had created that fake ad and emails. And he used that fake email and the ad to lure the victim into his apartment where he then sexually assaulted our victim. Charging documents say McNeil told the victim to come to his apartment for a physical agility test and a physical exam that included a prostate exam, saying the location where exams are usually done was closed because of COVID. The victim told investigators he tried contacting McNeil several days later to see if he was hired, but he then realized he had been tricked and was sexually assaulted. We believe that there are more victims based on the information we obtained during the investigation. McNeil told police his job opportunity Opportunity scam has worked three times in the past, and it all started around January. Now, police released McNeil's photo in hopes that other victims will come forward. As of right now, he is being held without bond. He's facing several charges, including second-degree rape. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Krishna for WJZ.